Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today is another simple and short one in which we're going to be going over playing a random animation montage. So this will also work with actual animations as well, however I'm going to be showing it with montages and in my example it's going to be death montages, but again this works with both animations and animontages and any type of animation you want. The main difference between an animation and an animontage is the animontage will blend in and out automatically when you play it, whereas with an animation, you will have to manually tell it to go back to normal animation blueprint use. So let me hit play and show you what we're gonna to make today. So in my example, again, it's very basic. I'm just gonna press one and we're going to play an animation montage, in my example, a death montage. If I press two, we're just gonna come out of that montage. If I press one again, I'm gonna get a different one. So again, it is now playing a random animation montage every single time I press one. I have seven different montages in this, so the probability of it landing on the same one twice isn't too common, but it's also not that uncommon either. Again, this is what I'm going to be going over today, setting up a way to play random animation montage. Best use case I've thought of is, for example, when you're playing a death animation, but of course this works anywhere you want as well, but again, my example is a death animation. So again, this is what we're making today, so without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously create your animations if you haven't already. So I've got mine in this animations folder here. You'll see I have seven different death animations which I have downloaded from mixmo.com and I've converted these into animation montages. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show you now. You can select all of the animations which you want to change, right click, go to create and create an anim montage. The reason why I've already done it is because you'll notice inside of these montages, what I've done is I've already unticked enable auto blend out and that just means once the montage finishes playing, it's not going to blend back out automatically. I have to tell it to do that, i.e. stopping the montage. And I've done that because it's a death montage. When the player dies, you don't want the animation to stand back up afterwards. You want them to stay on the floor. So that's why I've done that. So again, import your animations and convert them to animation montages. What you'll also want to make sure you do is open up your animation blueprint, which for me is mannequin, animations, third person anim BP, and in your anim graph, make sure you have a slot default slot, and that just allows the use of animation montages. I imagine you've probably already done most of this as you probably have already set up animation montages, but I'm going over it just in case you haven't. Now we're gonna actually get on to playing these montages and playing a random one. So I'm gonna do this in my character blueprint. You do this in whichever blueprint it is which you want to play the montage in, but again, for me, it's a death montage, so it makes most sense for me to be in the character blueprint. So for me, that's content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. Now in here, I'm just gonna find some empty space to start doing this code. And before we actually do any code, we need to create a variable. So we're gonna hit the plus variable here, and I'm gonna name this one death animations. As that's what mine are, they are death animations. But again, name this whatever makes the most sense for you. So it might be shooting animation or idle animation or anything along those lines. And we're going to change it from a boolean to an anim montage, not min, montage, and it's going to be an object reference. Then we're going to press this little icon to the right and set it to be an array, which is a little 3x3 three three grid. And this array allows us to input multiple values or array elements into this array so we can have multiple animations inside this one variable which is going to work out brilliantly for us so we can choose a random animation from inside of the array or a list of multiple animations. So we're going to add in as many array elements as we need. As I said at the beginning I have seven different animations so I'm going to add seven different elements. Add as many or as little as you need. I'm just going to add these in here. So you see I have death one, death two and so on and so forth all the way up to death seven and again just add in your animations into your own array however many you have and whichever ones they are for you. Once you've done that we can compile and save it and start doing some of the code. So now you want to just determine how and when you want to play your animation montage. So again for me I'm doing it just when I press one just for the purpose of the tutorial but if you're doing death you probably want to do this when a player's health gets to zero which I have videos on as well or again just wherever you want this animation to play. Out of pressed we're going to simply just get a play and a montage as this is the node which you'll need to actually play the montage so again this is how you will start your code wherever it is which you're doing it now normally you would just get the anim montage and input whichever one you want for example death one but we want to choose a random one so what you could do is you could use a select and input all the different animations in there and then maybe get a random integer from here 
However, that can get quite big and lengthy and not look too great. So I'm going to show you a different way. We're going to get our array here, so get death animations. Out of this, we're going to get something called the length. So just type in length like so. And that's going to get the amount of elements inside of this array. I'll show you why we do that in a second. Come out of the array again, I'm going to get a copy like so, connecting that into the anim montage of the play anim montage there. This is now going to get an element from the death animations array. And you'll see this integer underneath it is which element we want to get. So by default, it's going to get element zero, which is the first one in the array, because in programming, we start counting from zero. So what we want to do is get a random element. So we're going to drag out of element and get random integer. Just random integer there, so we can choose the max. Now the max is going to be our length. So however many elements are in the array, is the maximum integer we can choose, which will go into the get a copy. So it's going to choose a random integer from the amount of elements we have in the array, and that element will then choose the animation which is played. And that is how we're going to be playing a random animation from an array of other animations we've set up. And that is it. So that's nice and simple. That's all we need to do. Get the array, get the maximum amount we have, choose a random one from that array and play it. And we're going to compile and save that. So let's hit play and test this out. So again, I'm going to press one and it's going to play an animation montage like so. If I press two, I'm going to stop it. Press one again, it's going to play a different one. So you'll see it is now playing random animations from the array or the list of animations that we inputted. Again, I have seven, so it's going to choose one of seven randomly each time, as you can see on screen here. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so it's going to play a random animation montage from a certain amount which we have given it to choose a random one from that list or that array. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.